I'll tell you now how you can start to lose weight today. Stay until the end of this video, because in the end I will leave two important alerts that will help you lose weight even more. To lose weight, you must start with a smart diet. It is important to pay attention to the amount of simple carbohydrates you eat on a daily basis. The simple carbohydrate is white rice. You can start by reducing the amount of white rice you eat and replace white rice for brown rice, which contains several minerals and vitamins that make you lose weight, for helping the body in accelerating metabolism. Other examples of simple carbohydrates are sugar, honey, soft drinks, ice cream, sweets in general, chocolates, refined flour, among others that, because they are simple, become sugar in the body, cause insulin peak if consumed alone, and, consequently, fat accumulation occurs. So the simple fact of getting a smart diet, exchanging simple carbohydrates for complex carbohydrates, already helps you start losing weight today. But what are complex carbohydrates? Complex carbohydrates are those rich in fiber, which has a positive impact on our health. They are converted to glucose slowly, providing energy levels that are maintained throughout the day, decreasing the possibility of being transformed into fat and maintaining satiety for longer. Examples of complex carbohydrates are chickpeas, sweet potatoes, beans, quinoa, brown rice, lentils, oats, rye, carrots, and peanuts. Simple carbohydrates are poor in nutrients, while complex carbohydrates are the opposite. In food, it is important to pay attention not only to calories, but especially what the food offers in terms of nutrition, because nutritious foods do not offer the body only carbohydrate, but carbohydrate loaded with nutrients that control the release of insulin, thus avoiding the peak of insulin and the accumulation of fats. Other components that control this insulin spike are fiber and protein. If you are going to consume a refined flour, you can, but do it intelligently, mix it with some fiber or some protein. Fiber or protein will be the antidote to sugar in the body, because simple carbohydrates become sugar in the body. Remember that orange contains fiber. Vegetables contain fiber and nutrients. Therefore, even diabetics can consume fruit normally. And the important warning I have to tell you is, be careful about eating carbs on an empty stomach. This increases the insulin. You can consume it, but it shouldn't be carbohydrate alone. Be careful when dieting and taking orange juice without consuming something like some protein. The orange juice ends with the fibers of the fruit at the time the juice is made. This greatly increases fructose intake without the antidote, which is fiber. But you can eat the whole orange quietly. Another important warning that I cannot fail to put here is the issue of sweetener. Many people do some diet for weight loss or to control diabetes, but the truth is that you should be very careful with the type of sweetener you consume. Common sweeteners cause serious side effects, swallowing, in addition to wetting the appetite for sweets and causing a craving for carbohydrates. Some sweeteners can alter the pressure of hypertensives, favor the accumulation of toxins in the liver and cause headache and mood swings. Therefore, you should give preference to using natural sweeteners such as stevia sweetener with thaumatin. I will leave here in the description of this video, if you are interested, the link of AlphaFen that is a 100% natural supplement for weight loss, which I trust will bring you great results. I hope that video helped you in some way. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I intend to make more videos on the subject to help you even more. Hugs, and see you next time.